Hello, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to the Mathematics STEM Box. My name is Angus and I'm going to show you some fun games, puzzles and activities to explore some ideas in mathematics. The first activity I have for you is called the sticks game. So we start over here with a pile of sticks. I'm going to grab a couple. Let's see how many I've picked up here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so I have eleven sticks. How does the game work? This is a game for two players, or if you like, you can play it in two teams where the team decides what the move is. On a player's turn, they can take either one, two, or three sticks. So on my turn, I can take one, I can take two, or I can take three sticks. And then it passes to the other player, and they do the same. One, two, or three sticks. The winner is whoever can pick up the last stick. And that's it. That's the game. So let's just do a trial run, a sample run of the game. I'll have two players here, left hand and right hand. We'll see how they do. So we have 11 sticks. The left hand is going to start by taking three sticks. And now it's right hand's turn. They've got eight sticks left in front of them. They're going to take two sticks and left hand's turn now. Left hand side is going to take one stick and go to right hand. Right hand will take two sticks, leaving three. And left hand suddenly realizes, aha, three sticks left. I'll take three sticks and therefore I've taken the last stick. So left hand wins this game. What do you think? Do you think they were playing well? Can you see any better moves they could have made? Try playing it against your friends, your classmates, and see, can you win? Can you figure out what the strategy is? But the game doesn't end there. Maybe you figured it out. Maybe you know, aha, I've got it. I know exactly how this game's gonna work every time. No worries. Well, what if I change the game? I started with 11 sticks here. What if we start with 12 sticks? Is the strategy the same? Does it change? Does it matter who goes first or goes second? Does that change? Can you describe how to win? If you know the strategy, could you explain it to someone else and tell them how to win every single time? Even there, the game doesn't have to end. Even if you think, no matter how many sticks, I can start with as many sticks as I like, I'm gonna work it out every single time. What if we change the game? This is up to you. I want you to be the scientist, I want you to be the mathematician. Come up with your own variants and figure out, can I understand the rules in general? There are so many different ways to play. Maybe you can take a different amount of sticks. Maybe there's more than one pile of sticks. Maybe you'll come up with something that I've never heard of before and you'll find something totally new that no one's ever discovered before in mathematics. It's all up to you. Now, I'm sure you're excited to know how to win but let me give a little spoiler warning before I go into that because you should try and figure this out yourself. Do the experiments, play the game, and see if you have a winning strategy. Okay, now if you want to hear the solution, continue playing, but otherwise pause the video, have a look yourself, and then come back in a moment. Have you tried it? Are we back? Let me tell you how this game can be won every time. One thing you might notice if you play the game many times is once you get down to four sticks, something very interesting happens. Let's say it's left hand's turn. They can take one, two, or three sticks. If they take one, there's three sticks left, right hand takes three sticks and wins. Instead, if left hand takes two sticks, there are two sticks left, Right hand takes both and wins. If left hand takes three sticks, then right hand takes that last stick and wins. So if it's left hand's turn, there are four sticks left, then no matter what they do, right hand will always win. So four sticks is a losing position for the left hand. Let's extrapolate from this. What if there are eight sticks? Well, again, left can take one, two, or three. And no matter what they take, right hand can take the difference. If they take one, take three, two, two, three, take one. 
And either way, we've gotten back to four sticks for the left hand, which we said was a losing position. So eight sticks is also a losing position. In fact, any multiple of four is always a losing position for that player. If you're not in a multiple of four, you can make them have a multiple of four. If you are in a multiple of four, you can't make the other player have a multiple of four. That's the key idea here. One, two, or three sticks, a very special amount. What did you discover? Did you try other variants? What if you take a different number of sticks each time? Does that change the strategy? Do you want to give your opponent a different amount? This is the stuff to figure out, and as I say, I'm sure you'll all find new things that I've never thought of before. By the way, if you're interested, there is some interesting mathematics going on behind the scenes here. We already discussed how the key idea is the multiples of four. So you can say, well, one of the key mathematical insights here is understanding multiples of numbers and how different numbers add up to those multiples. When can two numbers add and get a multiple of four? That's a key thing. Another thing that's going on here is game theory. How do you decide what a winning strategy is? How do you decide who should go first and second? Does it matter what possible moves you have in a given game? Is it good to have more options? Is it good to give your opponent less options? There's a whole family of games, if you'd like to look them up, called NIM games, which study this sort of stuff. They are well explored in mathematics, and there's a lot of interesting theory behind them. Enjoy your mathematical exploration.